what's up guys welcome to our channel today we're gonna be working in the Chevy Colorado we're gonna be doing some rock lights we have these KC Cyclones that we're gonna be installing we have a total of six one for each fender and then we have two in the front we're gonna start with the back since it's the hardest part and then the farthest from our controller which is the trigger in the front so the, what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna remove these fenders and then we're gonna remove the fender liner the most we can in order to just run the wires um, hidden under the fender liner. So this is the tool you need to remove these um, bolts that you have here. You have a couple of them. Let me focus there. There you go. In the fender, I think you have two. One here and you have another one there. And then we're gonna take a couple of these ones right here inside the fender to just uh, make some space for the wire hopefully we don't have to take them all and you also have a clip here that I did not catch at the beginning that you will have to remove in order to take the fender So in order to bolt the light into the fender, we I use the same bolt that comes on the fender liner. So, but if you can see, it doesn't go completely through. So we have to remove the lens, put the bolt, and then put the lens back in. So it has some opening. Just with a with a flat head, you can um, do this without any force. It goes really really soft, and then um, you can completely separate it. We encounter a problem with this light and it's that when we put it in here the washer was not completely in the hole which it has to be and which I don't know why I think it's Casey has like different sizes in here or whatever it's not completely exact from light to light so what we did is that I took the wa the, the truck bolt and the washer I cut it and I have just the bolt with a different washer that fits in here completely and then I'll put the bolt then after you have your bolt in place you can put back again the KC light into the slots make sure they are aligned into the slots and then with just a little bit of pressure it goes completely back in as you can see Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but our light, it's gonna be in that hole. And I made a really tiny cut with a blade there so I can pass the wire. That way I can just bolt it there. The wire passes through a different hole. And then kind of the idea is bolted there in place, connected under the fender. And then um, as you can see, I already passed the wire like under the fender right here. And yeah, that's the idea. The rear driver's side is complete. We already put our light and bolted it in. And as you can see, the wires are completely hidden. Now we're gonna do the passenger side on the rear. The only difference is that the wires are gonna come through the chassis or under the chassis, and then they're gonna connect with this side here in order to just have one wire going to the front. And then after we finish the rear, we're going to focus on the front fenders and then we'll just plug it out into the trigger system. Okay, hopefully you can see these guys. So that's the wire from the passenger side. I brought it up the chassis from the fender all the way to, um, I'm going to run it on top of the, the chassis right here. And probably I'm going to bring it back here, zip tie it to this. Um, tube that is here is really far away from the exhaust and then um, probably run it through the top of the diesel tank to the other side or maybe um, close to the hitch wiring back there the deal is to run it as far as to the heat as possible okay so we have the lights ready to install them in the front fenders 
we are going to be removing some of the bolts in the front fender and then the plan is for this passenger side bring the wire up to the engine bay and then run it to the other side since the control it's in the other side here it's going to be hard to wire it under the truck since we have all the suspension and stuff like i mean all the suspension components so it's better to just bring it up the engine bay and then run it to the other side and meet it, meet it with the other wires there so there's a quick quick update for this one i was able to make a small cut on the fender without removing the bolts i just removed the bolt where the light's gonna be and i was able to pass the wire through the fender liner and i'm gonna try to catch it in there and then see how i can pass it through the engine bay so far way easier than the back guys we'll see yeah front was um definitely way easier guys we just um, separated the fender from here a little bit. I make a cut here. It's not really like a hole. We just made a cross shape cut in order to pass the wire behind the light. And then we brought the wire around here and then with a uh, wire feature, I was able to catch it and bring it up to the engine bay. And as you can tell, you, you cannot see the wire. Uh, it's behind there it's very hidden and looks pretty clean for me and then for the wire if you're asking yourself where it is it's up here so i'm blocking the light here well, but there you go it's right here so i'm gonna bring it up here run it as close to the firewall as possible back there and then um bring it to the trigger system here and join it with the other ones we are going to be connecting it to the um, current trigger force system that we have. We have one option, one, one of the connections available, one circuit, and as you can see, and it's gonna go there. Um, sorry that it's dirty. The rest of the engine, we, we just clean it, but I just don't like to clean the electrical part, so we cover it and I don't know, just. So as you can see, we have light. We have connected all the red or positive and all the negative from all the lights together. And then we connected that to the wire that goes to the trigger system. It's that simple. I know that probably Casey has something different, but, but if you have um, your switch system, that this is all you have to do. And we use this connector that would hit it kind of um, solders the, the wire together. It's like a soldering um, connector let me focus here so you can see there you go and then we're gonna put some more electrical tape just for protection and then just hit it under the fender liner and we will be done <laughs> 